Oh my goodness, here we are. Hello everybody, we're here at Smart Skyward Sword. As you can see, the building is shaking. There's chaos just going on. Old lady, it Oh, I, th I saw her like go out of the light. I thought she just warped out of there. I was like, what the heck? Why now? Okay, we gotta head out here because uh, for those of you who actually know what Skyward Sword's all about, we're we're about to encounter some some very interesting fellow. Uh, also, where's Groose at? Groose? Um, it's probably pretty dangerous out here, buddy. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> Groose, look at him. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? Calm down, Groose. Run away if you can. <laughs> the whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Granny? Go quickly, Link. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Okay, sure thing. Hold on, let me see how Groose is doing. Look at him. He was like, I'll be the hero now. Look at him. Oh, poor, poor Groose. Oh, what's with all the shaky? Okay, I was, I was wondering if you were going to say something else. All right, sorry, Groose. Sorry, buddy. Uh... Oh, I can use that pretty early. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so the darkness and the seal. This is a part of the game that a lot of people apparently think is really dumb. I actually think it's really cool. I actually really like this part of the game. It's really cool. The seal. It's breaking! And here he comes. Show yourself. There he is! The stupid tooth and scales monster. I love this fight. I love this fight, dude. Look at this thing. He's huge. Giant T. The Imprisoned. I was like, I didn't want to name drop him. The Imprisoned. Oh, boy. And then he starts moving. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. Okay, yeah, so he's a scary dude. We gotta start beating up his little toes here. And while beating up his toes, we gotta be careful of, yeah, his, uh, his, when he's beaten, he stomps. And if you're near those feet when he stomps pretty hard, it is not good. Yeah, so let's not go after this one. We're gonna go after this one. Then he lets that one down. We hit this. And then, then he falls down. Oh, backwards. I forgot he fell back backwards. Okay, that's good because I don't think he could run up forward. Oh, yeah, you go back through the light that's lift up. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. This isn't going to be super difficult. Then we just nail on this, I think. Or how do we do it? Oh, yeah, we have to hit it into him. There we go. That's right. And then I, I think he like... Oh, no, he's going to slither. I forgot he slithers. No, stop slithering, you stupid... Yeah, he gets really fast when he slithers. That's what's concerning. If he did this the whole way up, we would be instantly dead. But there is actually a little cheese method, which I'm gonna try out now. You can actually go from above and hit him from above. But I've never actually really uh, done that. I always did like the little, hit his little toes strategy. But you can see on the left that there's like a bar to see how close he is. And I will say, oh my goodness, when he gets close, it, it truly feels so intense. So yeah, we're gonna try and go from above. You can go and land on his head and smash the thing in on him. So he seems to be walking a little fast and I fell off. Uh, see, I was always so bad at landing on him, but I think we got it this time. Yeah, here we go. And then we smash it down into him. Boom. So yeah, there's like two ways to approach it. I think that's really cool. Okay, auto sail claws, thank goodness. All right, now he's gonna slither again. There he goes. Slither, slither. He's so fast and he slithers though, oh my goodness. Even like, listen, listen to the music. It like gets so intense while he slithers. Okay, he's actually uh, getting way too close for comfort. Holy moly. Bro, he's actually getting so close. Stop. He's so close. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think actually, I think that might tell me to go from above right here. Or can they? Are they gonna? I'm not sure. I'm nervous. He is way too close. He is actually super, super close. Okay, can I even... I don't even think I'll have a chance to go from above. If I do, I'll have it like barely the last second. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at them, they're like, ah. Oh. Okay, I think I got a chance. This is my last chance to go from above though. Come on. Yes, there we go. Just barely get in there. Oh. Yeah, he's freaking scary. Oh, it's so intense. I love this fight. He's flashing. You. Okay. Oh, I see. There's a little spot and he's losing some scales. 
Or either that or it's just a little weak spot with your scales. All right, get out of here. Uh, okay, <laughs> he's gonna stand there for a good few seconds. Wait, am I floating? Where did, where did Link go? He was on top, what happened to him? I guess he's just gone? All your scales? Yeah, I guess he did lose a lot of them. Poor guy is shedding. <laughs> is it that time of year already? Okay, well, seal? Back intact? Oh, not yet. I gotta go give it a good old skyward strike, I think. Granny, mm. you gonna tell me? Now, Link! Strike the sealing spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal! Quickly! Alright, you got it, Granny. I'll do just that. Oh, but yeah, th that fight is freaking intense. I love that fight. Alright. And... Oh my gosh, I'm always so bad as ever. Let's try this again, please. There we go. Oh, I just now noticed, look at that. On the, on the seal, look at that. There's the, the symbols. What? Boom. Ha. 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 There we go. Yeah, it had the symbols for all the, like, the three things. Like, the three regions. And also the three, uh, whatchamacallits. Wow, that was actually pretty cool. I didn't know you could just do that. <laughs> but seal's back intact. But yeah, it's on there. It's like the, what is it? The Din Fire, Nehru, and Fiore, or whatever. I always forget how to pronounce them all. I know it's like Din. Din's the easy one, because it's literally just Din. Then Nehru. It's like Feore, Fiore. Oh, huh. oh. oh what's that? Is that Groose? Nice going, Link. Oh. Thank you. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in, in buying us a little more time in which to act. Okay. <laughs> That's the least face. Like, oh, well, all right then. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave away again soon. Okay, yep, that's a hint to saying there might be a little bit of a rematch in our future. So, you are left with precious little time to complete the task uh, with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Link. There is much to discuss. Also, can somebody carry me back? I'm, I'm so old and I'm so tired. Look at my back. Ah! <laughs> I'm bending over so far. Oh, it hurts to walk. Why, why do I wear such a top-heavy uniform? Look at this thing. It's so taller than both of you combined. <laughs> Groose? You, you okay, buddy? He didn't even get a chance to say thank you or something? I don't know. I think he sees Link in a new light after beating that monster. That's good, at least. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Well, it's also freaking out. What is going on? Little Tetris blocks? <laughs> Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. You must become a pro Tetris player. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your Skyward Strike might just do it. Well, I already have the Skyward Strike. Let me... Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must go... Uh, must grow together. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Faron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it fu be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. I see. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. Knowledge of the song. Is that Gaypora? Or Teacher? Or... Well, Zelda obviously knew, but... Then who taught Zelda? And... Grooves? Hey, but... Uh-oh. You okay? <laughs> yeah, we got Grooves' approval? Oh, I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I could do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Oh, Groose. What do you... Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Groose? 
He's <laughs> just marching off. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure he's going through some tough times, whatever. Uh, Link, go now. Trust in your fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, yep, all right, sure. Thank you, old one. Alrighty, well, uh, I did forget a treasure chest over here. She did, like, give us a treasure chest that was right here, and I just walked right past it, I'm pretty sure. What was I getting again? An empty bottle, that's right. Revitalizing potion. Fully replenishes your shield gaze and also restores full four hearts. Okay, yeah. So we get an empty bottle from that, which I completely ignored when I came in here the first time, because I guess I just somehow missed it and walked right past it. Is this? Okay, I thought this was a digging spot. Is this? What's the point of that? Just a little hole? Huh. Oh, you know what? I think, like, are there, like, bugs in this, maybe? I can't dig it. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, yeah. All right, anyway, we're going to just go head back to Skyloft, I think, and then get a move on. Maybe, will Gru say a word? I'm not sure. Either way, it looks like he's, uh, he's, uh, facing something, you know, knowing that he's not the chosen one. Groose, you good, buddy? Buddy? Oh, he's probably a little mad. Aw, oh, come on! I couldn't do a thing! I'm totally useless! Oh, oh my gosh, you're so fast! Bruce? Uh, oh. Why'd you have to go all the way there to bang on the wall? Um. Aw. Bruce, don't beat yourself up. Anyone would be freaked out of a monster like that. Well, let me try something. <laughs> I just wanted to see what they would do. Okay, well. Can we go... Hold on a second, Groose. I know, I know this is important, but this is more important. Oh, I haven't caught this yet either. One woodland rhino beetle. Collectors often polish the hard carapaces. Carapacus? I forget. There's like a, I think I know how to pronounce that word. I just can't remember. Of these beetles to make them tougher. It's the strongest of all the insects. Ooh, interesting. Wow, we've almost got almost all the insects. That's pretty cool. Come on. There we go. All right, Groose, are you... <laughs> I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Oh, I, I'm I'm sorry, buddy. It, it it's okay. It'll it'll get better. Trust me. It'll get better. All right. Where's our little statue? We gotta go fly up all the way back to Skyloft. I know there's one in here, but I don't know if I can use it to return to the sky. Yeah, I can't because there's a freaking ceiling above us. Should be one right outside over here though. That'll be quicker to get. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we can go launch up back to the sky. Oh, wait a second. Oh, uh, great Goron! I found some! Hey, you did find some, and they're frozen. Look, those butterflies that respond to the beautiful tones are swarming all over this place! This has to be the right spot! Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? Well, I've got a little bit of a harp that I think I can do. How do I harp again? I forget which button is harp. Oh, it's X, that's right. Oh, that, that was simple. <laughs> hey, there's our little statue. Boing! That is, oh, that is it. One of the talking statues the ancient, ta the ancient text spoke of. There is just no mistaking it. Hey, oh, thank you. Hello. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a uh, tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop up out of the ground with a boing. I see. Well, thank you, Gossip Stone. Also, the butterflies flew away when you popped up. Okay, next time, catch the butterflies before, before you, uh, harp the guy or whatever. Is that one too high up? I have an idea. Can I, hold on, can I run against it and then, yeah, there we go. All right, don't walk on him and kill him. I don't know if that'll actually kill him, but, okay, we got four of those bugs. That's pretty good. Right, now we're going to return to the sky, go all the way back to Skyloft. And maybe buy an item or two, do something, I'm not really sure. Maybe even go back to the Lofty Pumpkin. Yeah, but I guess right now is probably what I would consider to be the second half. Maybe not second half of the game, or, uh, maybe like Arc 2. How about the Arc 2 of the game? The game is kind of split into like three arcs, I guess you could say, or three sections. I'm not really sure how to word it, but... We're now in section two. How the frick do I get off my bird again? I keep forgetting how to get off my bird. All right, back on Skyloft. Here we are. Um, let's uh, let's go quickly into Beetle's Hut, and then from there we'll go probably into the bazaar because it's always good to uh, check out both these places to see if they got anything new. Then we'll go talk to Gaypora and maybe some other places as well because 
I feel like it's been a while since we've done some side quests, so we might have to get some of those done in today's episode as well. Hiya, Beetle. Looks like you got Heart Medallion, Adventure Pouch, and Rupees? Okay, guess we're just gonna get the same thing as always. Oh, that's an extra wall! Yeah, okay, we've done this many, many, many times. Let's just buy the wallet. <laughs> we don't need to keep hearing him talk. All right, 300 more rupees. Now we can hold 1,200, oh, I believe. You. Oh, thank you for some more! I don't know, a beetle! Now give me this uh, adventure pouch, which I don't know how many, how much was this again? 600, okay. Oh, we have Billy just enough, let's go. Oh, he, uh, did you see him? Me raise prices? Never! <laughs> oh, he did raise the price of it, that's pretty funny. Okay, we can thank only, you. thank you ever so much. Okay, cool. Yeah, he did raise the price of it. That's pretty funny, actually. Well, without any rupees, we cannot actually buy anything else. So, oh my gosh, you freaking butterflies. Um, I guess we're just gonna go straight to Gaypora or something. Hold on a sec. I don't think I can do anything with this yet, but just out of curiosity, can I? Yeah, I don't know if this is a side quest, but... Oh, shoot, no. Oh, oh, I was supposed to line it up. Okay, well, I'm gonna go on that. I think I was supposed to line it up with, like, this. I don't know if that's just like a nice pleasant trip. Frick, frick, oh. Wait, what? <laughs> I tried to call my bird, but I messed up. Where the heck am I? Okay, I'm not sure what the point of this thing is. Someone's hideout, I suppose. Actually, that's a good question. Did you ever like do, whoa, that thing is floating. You look at that? That thing is floating, hold on, hold on. Can you see? It's floating. It literally is floating. That is not on the ground. That thing is, you can't, it's hard to tell, but yeah, it's uh, that is a floating fruit. <laughs> I was gonna say, did you ever like pick hideouts as a kid? When I was a kid, my favorite thing to do in games was to look around and like try and find a hideout. I was like, okay, where's a good spot for a hideout? Cause I don't know, hideouts were like a thing that I would do. It's like, just like find a spot and it's like, yeah, this is mine. This is where I would go. And I obviously it's just a waste of time. It's just stuff you did as a kid. But I would be like that, that little section down there, if there's nothing down there, that would be like my hideout. I would be like, yeah. No one else can come down here. This is where I go after my missions. I come back here. This is like my hideout. I don't know. I would always do that as a kid. There's like, I remember specifically Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. There are like a couple hideout places that I would have. I mean, there were like official ones that you'd have to do, but it was just like, I don't know. Stuff like that. I really found enjoying. What the frick is that? Oh, it's a bird. I was like, is that a bug? It's a bird. All right. Hey, what's your name again? P something? Pippet. Hey, Link. You looking pretty upbeat lately? That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Hmm, you know, I'm the one who's actively trying to make her come back. So where the frick is the headmaster's room? Because I gotta talk to freaking Gaypora real quick. That's Zelda's room. Can we even go in there? We can go in Zelda's... Oh, no, we can't. Hmm. I feel like you can eventually, Instructor Horwell. Let's go see if he's in here. If he's in here, I want to go... Yeah, do you know where uh, Gaypora's at? No. Lately, I've been taking care of Mia for the headmaster. It's dangerous having her around. She's so adorable that I'm starting to think I need one of my own. Really? Well, I'm very surprised. Look at all the stuff he has for her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that a huge play. Ew, Mia, get away from me. I don't want to ever look at you again. Yes, shut the door on her. Don't let her come through. Oh my goodness. Oh, big doors, surely, right? Yes, Headmaster Gaypora. Are you in here? Hello? Friend? He is, yes, okay. Oh right, wait, is he side questing? I think he might be, this might be a side quest. Ooh. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. I got my eye surgery. Look at my eyes. They, they, trust me, they work. I, there's the blinks. Yep, I told you. I told you. <laughs> so how's it going down there? Are you, cl are you closer to finding my Zelda? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Just a wee bit. I did see her. Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? My eyes? I mean, you want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer, and I also don't know Japanese, but, um... I guess just the lyrics are fine, dude. You'll need to sing. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Oh, youth, God, you told me not to sing, but I'm singing anyway. Guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse of the song. Oh, youth. Show the two who were like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm skipping so long. Sail the way the light tower, and before you a, a path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's our whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen it in the, the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about a whirling, uh, two whirling sails, though. 
Oh, the sails that I just... Dude, it sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails all the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. Okay, yeah. The This is where I think we might have to do a side quest before we actually do a main quest. Because, if you recall... Remember back in the Elden Volcano when we saw a little pinwheel? I think that pin me pinwheel is something that we're actually going to need here, because we did see... I like how I'm accidentally one step at the head of the game both times. Because I think that you've already connected the pieces if you saw that episode, because we got the windmill all the way over there, which is missing a little, uh... It's little wind... It's little pinwheel thing to help it turn. While well, this one over here, we can actually turn. So, we can turn this one to make it face toward the light tower, which I guess does end up kind of lining up with the other one. And then, after that, um, we have to go find the pinwheel down there, I believe. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit complex, but I think the whole side quest of it is kind of neat. So, let's, uh, right there, yeah. There we go, so it lights up, that's... That's what it was. So it did have to line up with that one thing. Gotcha. So let's go head over to this next pinwheel, and they're probably gonna be like, yo, uh, you can't even use it. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, is it a wind turbine or is it a windmill? There's a difference between them. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, see, it's gone. It's not there. Hey! What's up, Link? Hey, uh, Jackamar? Jackamar? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. Right, but, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill. Ah, oh, it is a windmill, okay. So that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Okay, for it to go all the way to Elden, it must have swooshed. It must have changed direction quite a bit. What a vector. Ah, uh, the windmill's been uselessly, uh, uselessly sitting there ever since. That's unfortunate. Um, Fee? I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Yep, okay. But we can't do that yet because we need a friend. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together uh, together to get it back on there, sure. Why can't you just make a new propeller? I mean, uh, can you not? But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Wait, why is it pointing toward the green one? It's not there. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. Okay, I was afraid we'd have to go all the way to Lanayru and get this, but... But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down f over for a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Yeah, so we're about... We're, this is like the quest chain. The, the freaking break in the story where you gotta go on like a little bit of a quest chain and get all this kind of stuff. So it's like, you need to get the song. To get the song, you need to do the windmills. To do the windmills, you have to get this. And to do this, you're gonna have to get this. And it's like, yeah, it's a bit of a wild goose chase, this little part of the game. But I wanted to come in here anyway because... Actually, why did I want to come? I'm not sure. Anyway, hello, Gonzo or Gondo. Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need something to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Uh, yes sir, indeed I do. Huh? huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line, I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Uh, do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Sure. <laughs> I also like how the logic kind of is like, what is it? it? The logic just doesn't work out because you see Link going down and he's like picking up all this. He picks up the gust bellows. He picks up the slingshot. He picks up tons and tons of items, the bomb bag, all from beneath the clouds. And he brings it back up, but he can't pick up a wind propeller. He can't just pick up a wind propeller and shove it in his pocket. Like, I'm sure the wind propeller is a little heavy, but like, is it really that heavier than all the stuff he's already got in his pockets? Why can't he just do it himself? Why do I need the robot to do it? I don't know. It's... It, it's just the video game logic stuff again, it's just weird. Anyway, well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my old grandpa's robot, what's it called again? Yeah, I see, it's those little guys. Oh, hey, that's right, I remember, his name is Scrapper. He may not be uh, much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. 
Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Grams did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. Oh, I have one of those. But I've never even heard of, much less seen anything. Uh, take mine, dude. I have like 30. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Okay, well, fix up Scrapper and let's see what happens. So this is an ancient flower? I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out, uh, out of its stem. Great, with this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. Also, the video game logic of the whole ancient flower. When you take it out of the time stone area, it should just Ooh. instantly die. Whew, there you go. And? Look, yeah, just oil alone it makes him that clean. And there he is. Our buddy Scrapper. Yeah, he's just one of those little guys. Look at him, he looks happy. I think Scrapper's actually a jerk, though, which is funny. Uh, thank you, President. I got a full tank of energy, and I'm ready to carry anything. Zip. All right. Hey, Scrapper. Um, huh? Who is this green-clad individual of small stature? You're... <laughs> what the frick? I, literally, I'm bigger than you. Whoa, it talked? Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him there? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude, Verchonk! Oh. <laughs> hey now, watch it! That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're gonna help him! Hmm, <laughs> this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance, Z Serving children is a very low task in my, uh, very low in my task priorities, Z Jeez. Oh, that on this is, like, a little weird. Master Link! Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dazzling ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. I already know exactly where it is, Fee. We're good. Yeah, so this is where Scrapper gets a bit cringe. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. I like how, dude, look at Gano. He's like, yep. <laughs> he was like nodding his head. He's like, yep, this is normal. Just floating ghosts. Yep, uh, yeah, I'm used to this. <laughs> Who are you, Zed Foosh? <laughs> Your name is Fee. Zip. Should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? I... I understand, Ver... At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Was it? <laughs> Master... We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. Okay, and then... Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me and I will arrive with haste. Bazat. Yeah, this is normal. <laughs> talking robots, flying talking ghosts, and me with my messed up fa mace fa math mask. That's the word I'm searching for, yes. My eyes, like, they can see behind here, don't worry. Uh, so how do you plan to recover all this stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you can always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Hmm. Well, I know exactly where it is, but I do kind of want to talk to the fortune teller. Yeah, we saw it, remember? We're good. Oh, no! Uh, hang on a second! I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather all variety of magnificent treasures! Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use my mystical vision to find answers for you! All right, well, we'll do it just to entertain you. Oh my goodness. Look at that, is there even side quests for people? Okay. You see, I see you, yes. Come, allow me to foresee your own fortune. It'll cost just 10 rupees to light the way along your cloudy path ahead. Do you hunger to know what these big, lovely eyes will behold? Shall I begin? It'll cost but 10 rupees, sure. But what's this, young man? I've just had to, I don't have the money. Okay, well, guess it's not happening. Yeah, what the fr- all these side quests are- Oh my goodness! Holy Martin, do you have one too? Okay, I don't think we have anything- I don't think we get a side quest till we deposit something in her shop. Yo, we got the big- we got the broken shield, look at that! The best shield, until you get the broken shield, which you can only get post-game. <laughs> which we will be getting eventually. But I think, you know what, we're gonna stop it there. In between episodes, I'll quickly farm up some rupees, go see if we can talk to the fortune teller after that. And then we might have a side quest episode, I'm not really sure. It'll be good to get some side quests done, but, you know, actually, I think I might the next episode of side quests uh, episode because there's actually, um, 
when we have to revisit each place, we're gonna probably want some of the stuff that we get from these side quests, if nothing else, just to get them out of the way quicker. So yeah, I guess thank you so much for watching, everybody. I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.